Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. We found out today just how high Shaka can speak. Yes, yes, yes we did. Yes we did. Yes we did. Uh, yes, we did, Shaka. Uh, okay, did. let me just see, right? Dogs let in me the just surrounded see. area, we're all coming around the ESPN uh, I hold studio. you to far higher esteem no, than no, I do no, this mob. No, okay, no, let's, no, no, let's tell the people the true story. Right? No, no, no this is not a true story. So, now, most people, true story. most people are now allowed to come back into the office, yes, yes. right? We're all yeah. coming mm -hmm, back. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been here the whole time. We yeah. Yeah, we, we've not got That's anywhere. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Hard workers that we are. Yeah. In any case, so we see somebody, or Shaq can see somebody who he hadn't seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. And this guy, who never gets up of his chair, because, you know, that would entail some effort, he goes, <laughs> <"Hi!"> <laughs> So good to see you! And I'm looking like... Is, who is he is talking so, to? Is no. so wrong. Well, <laughs> is, you, you, I never, no, hold on. I hadn't seen that happiness from you since Carnival. You see, while, while I expect this level of immaturity from Alejandro, <laughs> Okay, I expected so much more. I, I, as I keep, I hold you on far higher esteem point, than I do these long. You've never spoken to me with such a oh, high goodness. voice, yes. so now I feel all yeah, offended yeah, that you're not me. happy to see oh, me. Oh, goodness me. Right. Yeah, we, yeah, you see? Okay. You see? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just me. Don. First question for you. Thank <laughs> you. Don, as someone that knows both sets of fans well, do you think Liverpool fans want Everton to stay up, if just for the local rivalry. <sighs> no. No, <laughs> Liverpool, Liverpool fans want Everton gone. Very sad, but they do. They do. I, mm. I honestly don't get it. I, I honestly I've said I'm a Newcastle fan and I play for Sunderland and I'm I'm passionate about Northeast football and I always say when Sunderland went down, Middlesbrough as well, it's like you want you want the derbies. That's what that's what keeps it alive in the area. And if if Liverpool Sorry, if Everton went out the division, went out the Premier League, it would be so sad not having a Merseyside derby, which has just been going forever. I get the tribalism, I get the hatred between different sets of fans, but it would be pretty sad if it happened. Ali, you seem to rate both Vinicius and Pedri a lot, mm -hmm. but if you have to choose one, who will you choose Pedri. and why? Pedri. Everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah. He would treat his son for Pedri. <laughs> and, would, would and, and so would you. You were in the same conversation. Don just put me out no, there. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, no, no. So love you, son. Don't go back on it. No. Roll the tape. Which is our camera. That was that we said. I wouldn't. <laughs> um, wouldn't. Well, wouldn't. Pedri is the answer. Pedri is the answer. Yeah. <laughs> you may have heard that Ali would trade his mm -hmm. own son yeah. for mm -hmm. Pedri. Yes. yes, I would. Yes. Don. <laughs> wow. Percent. Yes. yes, I would. Yes, yes. he would. Wow. If Ali had a two-seater car. Ali. Huh? If Ali had a two-seater car, was going somewhere with his son, uh -huh. and Pedri's car broke down, yeah. get. Ali get. Jr. Ali Jr. Yeah. will be walking. Yeah, catch the bus home, son. Yes. I hope you do well. Ali Pedri, Jr. come mm -hmm. in. Yeah, come on in, Pedri. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Don, percentage chance of Lukaku playing for <laughs> Chelsea next season amidst reports of Milan offering Romelu Lukaku a Chelsea exit depending on the outcome of their current takeover. <laughs> I don't see how he stays. It's got to be low. I mean, he's on absolute fortunes and it's going to cost fortunes for someone to buy him. So that might bring the percentage numbers up slightly. But I would say 20% that he stays. But Milan, Milan, when he played for Inter and said all that he did and all those wonderful things about what it was like to be at Inter. But PSG, PSG might be a little sniff from the from PSG jewels, what do you reckon? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think I think this is a really tricky one because the wages, as you said, Don, is they're huge. Chelsea will want as much money as possible to recoup after the 100 million pound deal from last season, from last summer. So it's a tricky one. I, I see him staying, and then Tuchel trying to again integrate him a bit better than he did this season. Jules is way too kind. Hmm? Jules. Don't ask, don't ask Jules about I Lukaku like to PSG and Jules being the nice man he is, it's like, oh, it's tricky. It's tricky there, Don. <laughs> well, the truth is, what does it say is, Don, what not, what, where you come up with that? That's what Jules really <laughs> wants to see. What nonsense you talking, but Jules Shaka, being a nice if, guy, if, if, oh, it's if, tricky. If, oh, it's tricky. If we yeah, are, if we are, if we just are all at boardroom level, I think Jules needs to go. I think he needs to go. He's, he's, he's too on the fence, boardroom level for us. We need more emotion. 
on a minute, but we have to all agree with that. Who wants Jules to go? Hand off. Wait, is, is it a choice between Jews and Don? Is it a choice between Whoa. Jews and Don? <laughs> 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 Because that's a different conversation. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> if I just were only pour for myself, that's one thing. But don't, if it's be. Don't it's, start being mean girls over here. No, no, no. Don't blow it's, yourself to Don's I, I just want to know what kind out. of boardroom is it? Is Don saying this boardroom ain't big enough for the two of us in his best <laughs> cowboy voice? It's not big enough for the two of us. No wrong. I don't know where, where we're going with this. Well, let, let, I've got the next question. Okay, Ready? let's go to that Ready? one, Ted. This is for Jules. It has to be for Jules. Jules, explain Arsenal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Explain, explain Arsenal, that's the question. Yeah, explain yeah, that's Arsenal. the whole question. Oh, I don't know where, I don't know where we start. Um, I, I do, I do think that they, they, Arteta does a lot of things right. I'm, I'm again, like I said on the show, I'm, 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 I've been really impressed by what he's done at training to start with, from from what I'm being told, to what we've seen on the pitch. The thing is, I think it, what he wants the team to do at times fails in a way because in certain positions the level is not there. I think if you give him better players, because the structure for me is so elite and what, he's want, what he wants to do tactically with the ball and again without the ball with his starting 11, I think if he gets better players in certain key positions, I think this team, this team is, a, is a top four contender every single season. Uh, and that's, that's how impressed I was. The problem is, at times, you can have the structure and all the goodwill in the world and all the tactical knowledge. Some players might let you down and even collectively. And I think that's what we saw certainly at Crystal Palace where the team didn't really respond to what they should have done for a game like that. At Southampton, I think Fraser Foster was on one of those days that uh, when we saw the Burnley game tonight, for example, was not, it, was, it was a different Fraser Foster, it was his, his twin. So things like that happen. And that's why I think it's a bit hard to explain the season and why there's been highs and lows. But I do think they're certainly on the right path. The explanation from Jules was as clear as Don's percentages. Yeah? Quite confusing. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, Arsenal have been quite Surely confusing no. over the years, so he did his best. Okay, uh, Jules, there's another one for you, actually, and oh, this is the last one. Here we go. Jules, any wow. truth that Bale and Should Chiellini I... are considering moves to MLS next season? Well, we certainly saw the reports about DC United uh, calling Jonathan Barnett and, and, Gareth, and Gareth Bale's people to see if he would want to go to the US. Um, I mean, I think Chiellini, not so sure, but for Gareth Bale, I think this would be perfect. I mean, obviously, as, as the boys know, the US is where you find the most golf courses. So that it would be right in his element to start with. And then more seriously, I think I think if if you know if he wants to if he wants to take that step into his, his career for the last few years and maybe not stay in Europe, not coming back to, to England, I would love personally to see him back in Cardiff, for example. But if he wants something completely different, uh, a, you know, different lifestyle, different life, full stop for him and the family, I think I think he could have a few good years in MLS for sure. Whatever you may think of Gareth Bale and his uh, inability to stay fit, his inability to play for Real Madrid on a consistent basis or inability to produce for Real Madrid, the truth is, is that right now, at this very moment, you put Gareth Bale in an airplane and you drop him in any team in MLS, he automatically, 100%, with certainty, becomes the best player in Major League Soccer. Now. Whether he can play, whether he can be fit enough, whether he's going to be playing golf, whether he's going to be focused enough, whatever other concerns you may have, okay, those are fair questions to ask. But in terms of, of ability, he becomes the best player in Major League Soccer. That's it, and that, that cannot be argued. And whoever wants to have a discussion about that, it's nonsense. Gareth Bale is that talented and would be better than everybody else around him. And that was a very clear percentage there. Now, yes. we started the segment by saying hi. <laughs> okay, well. So we're going to end the segment by saying bye.
Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.